Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Show Us Your Kits here at Hobbies Australia. Uh, I'm Andrew, and today I thought what we'd do is just something a little bit different, where normally we, we sit down and we have a look at a, a couple of kits. Let's have a look at a range of kits from the brand Academy um, that are interactive models. Um, so I'm always asked, you know, you, you, you buy a model, you build a model, what do you do with it when you've actually got it all done and ready? Um, you've completed the kit, you're very, very happy with it, you're very, very proud of it. You know, do you put it in a, in a display box and there it sits? Um, do you put it on the bookcase? Um, do you give it away? What do you do? And that's a very, very, very good and very valid question. Um, the range of models that we're going to have a look at today are a little bit different. Um, from Academy, they're the Da Vinci range, um, they're their science range, and there's also um, some um, wired remote models. So when you build the model, once you've got that whole construction phase out of the way, then you've got something that you can put on your bookcase or on your desk, um, and it actually um, is a moving, working model, which is a little bit different. So the first thing we'll have a look at is the Da Vinci range. Okay, now there's 12 or 13 models uh, in this range from Academy, uh, and these have proven over the years to be very, very popular. They're certainly not new. Um, there was a new model uh, in the series released uh, earlier this year, uh, but some of these kits have been around for a little while. Um, they retail in stores for around about the $30 mark, um, but they're a nice, easy build, they're an enjoyable build, and at the end of it, you have a little showpiece to put on your desk, uh, on your bookcase, whatever the case may be. Um, there's not a lot of parts in the kit, um, very, very straightforward. The instructions are very, very straightforward, okay? Um, Academy use, uh, make use of their multicolored plastic. So if you don't want to paint, you don't need to paint. But in saying that, with some careful dry brushing um, on, the, on the timber um, finish on the plastic, you can really make these models pop and they come up very, very nicely. Um, the instructions, as you can see, double-sided page, fold out. Um, the parts, the parts are very crisp and very cleanly rendered. And Ryan, of course, will get some close-ups of these. So as you can see, the part count isn't high, but we've got all of these working cog mechanisms. We have a pre-made spring motor. We have a couple of metal axles. Everything literally snaps together. Uh, you could certainly use some some adhesive if you wanted to, to, to seal that and make sure it was all put together in such a way that it'll never come apart. But then with some careful dry brushing, um, you can have a very, very nice representation of uh, one of uh, Leonardo da Vinci's um, technical drawings. You can have that in a model form sitting on your desk, on your bookcase. Get quite a, couple, uh, quite a collection of them um, and away you go from there. They're all designed to work when they're built. So, you know, they're a nice touch on on building a model and then having something at the end of the construction phase that you can interact with. Um, and that's really important because it brings people to the hobby, it brings them back to the hobby. And rather than just having a static model at the end uh, of the construction phase, um, here's something that, that you can showcase. Um, so that's the Da Vinci range from Academy. The, the second range of um, interactive models um, from Academy that I'd like to showcase today um, is their, their educational kit. Um, there's four in the series. These are a little bit more in depth, um, a little bit more of a challenging build than the Da Vinci series that we looked at. And these are probably based at, um, I guess, the STEM um, process, which is all the rage at the moment in secondary schools, the science, technology, engineering and maths um, part of the curriculum that, that uh, high school students currently go through. Um, so in here, um, a more complex build, a more of a challenging build. Um, when we look at the instructions, you know, simple fold out page, double sided, okay. Again, not a very high part count, but there's a lot of intricate detail in this kit. Because this is a moving kit, there's, you know, again, there's no need for, for adhesive. Um, if you do need to apply adhesive, you need to do it sparingly and in only in certain locations. And because of the nature of this kit where it's been moulded in clear plastic and it allows you to see through and see the working parts, there's no need for paint. Um, you know, parts are crisply rendered, uh, cogs are nicely done, they're nice and thick, there's going to be no issues there stripping gear teeth. Um, a fairly low part count, 
and again Ryan will will get some close-up shots of these um, but if you're looking for something a little bit different um, if you're looking for something that's going to to possibly challenge you a little bit uh, and at the moment let's face it we've all probably got plenty of uh, um, spare time given that the, the majority of the country is in lockdown. Um, these are the sorts of challenging builds and fun builds that you can get together and build on your workbench by yourself or maybe get the kids involved um, as an introduction to the hobby or bringing people back to the hobby. Um, you know, motorised unit, it's all in there, on off switch, um, axles to get the, the legs motor going, metal springs, it's all in there um, and it's a nice straightforward, um, I won't say easy build, um, but a straightforward build that if you follow the instructions, you can get a nice working model, um, in this case of the spider robot, um, at the end of it. Now there's four in the series, as I said, we'll showcase those other ones with some stills uh, of box art and you can have a look at those, but they're in stock now and available at uh, Hobbies Australia, retailing for around the $35 mark, um, but they're certainly something worthwhile having a look at and considering um, during these very, very trying times. Um, the last um, model uh, or range of models that I wanted to, um, to showcase today was the little 148th um, RC tanks that Academy do. Um, this is a, a range that we've brought in a couple of these just to see how they go. Um, I took one home the other night, um, pre again, uh, multicoloured plastic from the people at Academy. Um, built this um, roughly roughly in about an hour, uh, applied the, the decals which are in sticker form, um, you know, motor, motorised unit, so we'll play around with that in a minute. Um, but a very straightforward, very easy, very enjoyable build. Um, you know, your instructions, fold out size, you know, nothing surprising there from Academy. We know the quality and the calibre uh, of, of their instructions. Uh, we know the quality and calibre of their uh, mouldings. It's really quite nice. It's a pleasure to build Academy. Um, one thing um, you know that I did notice, which I thought was a little bit strange, and this sort of, uh, I guess, took me back to the, <laughs> to my young days in the in in the seventies. Um, you know, back in the day when I was a young boy, um, when Tamiya uh, came out with this range of tanks, and you know, they are now highly highly collectible um, if you can get your hands on those. Um, but yeah, look, a nice little fun build. 148 scale, um, as you all know, um, those who've, who've spoken with me, have dealt with me over, over recent times, RC's really not my forte, but um, you know, these are a fun, fun build, uh, an easy build. Um, and yeah, look, drive this around the office over my keyboard, have a little bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, so this is the Academy motorised tank range in 148, uh, available through Hobbies Australia currently. Okay, so that's all um, we've got this week here uh, from Hobbies Australia. Um, so just recapping the interactive model ranges from Academy in the Da Vinci range and the science range and of course the little RC 148 tanks. Look, as always, uh, stay safe, uh, especially in these troubling times uh, with everything that's happening uh, on the east coast at the moment with snap lockdowns. Um, you know, there's lots happening in our, in our crazy, crazy world. So stay safe. Uh, until we get a chance to catch up next, whether it be by phone or email. Of course, as always, build more kits. Um, I'm Andrew from Hobbies Australia. Take care, and we hope to see you really soon. All the best. Bye-bye.